So your work is in the realm of autonomous vehicle. I think before we go into the details, what is the status of the technology in autonomous vehicle? What is possible today and what is not possible in your opinion? So autonomous vehicles right now use uh, uh, majorly three sensors. Uh, one is LiDAR, which is a light, is actually a radar with light. Uh, one is the cameras. And the third one is radar, where LiDAR is very, very accurate, can give uh, distances and, and uh, can identify objects uh, from a very close range to a long range even. A camera can see colors, which LiDAR and radar cannot. Uh, but whenever those visual systems encounter weather that is bad, fog, heavy rain, and all kinds of uh, weird situation, weird lighting situation, then they leave a gap open where the radar needs to fulfill, uh, fulfill that. Is also radar capable of detecting what is in there? Like, you know, like if I have a metal, if I have uh, a tree, if I have a dog, a living object, you know, the material that is composing that object in front of the car. Yes, so if we had a perfect radar, we could do uh, two additional things to whatever a radar can do today. So just I'll, I'll just recap on what the radar can do today. Radar today can tell you uh, a location of, a pro of, of, a, of an object, which is X, Y, Z in the, in, the, uh, in the area. And it can also uh, tell you the velocity of an object, uh, uh, pretty accurate. But a perfect radar would also be able to see microdata, which is movement within movement of anything that's, that's moving, and identify materials. And when I talk about the movement within movement is that when a person walks, usually that person also moves his limbs. And this is something that radars today cannot see, at least not to uh, distances that are valuable in, let's say, an urban environment. So if you could, for instance, see a blob 100 meters away and see that that blob has eight limbs, then you would already know these are probably two people walking. The same is for a material detection. If you can use your very accurate radar to detect that this is a piece of metal, or this is a living object, or this is a tree, uh, then you can do decisions like human beings do Let's say if a kid runs into the street, but there's a parking vehicle on the side, a human being runs into the parking vehicle because this is only money damage, it's not human life. But if you don't know what material each thing is made of, then you have a real problem with that. Uh, we were saying that this uh, new generation of radar would allow the, the, the autonomous vehicle to work in weather conditions that are more uh, challenging. Why is that? The electromagnetic uh, rays of the radar are not that uh, influenced by weather like, uh, like, like light, for instance. So uh, you can actually see through rain, you can see through snow, you can see through fog. Uh, another advantage is that they drove a, an SUV through um, all kinds of uh, muddy conditions. Uh, but even with uh, some dirt on it, uh, the radar is still usable. But uh, if you have dirt on your lens of your camera, your camera is just useless. Do you use any machine learning inside your next generation radar? So uh, what we do, we just take chipsets of other companies and inject our synthesizer into that. And then we do some work on the machine learning and, uh, uh, and AI to show the capabilities to show how you can identify a bicyclist, as I say, how you can identify stationary objects and to show the bigger range that you can get. We can, with our synthesizer, you can double the range or even quadruple it. We're just showing the examples. We're not, we're not building a full-fledged radar. The obvious question is, when are we gonna see these things in the market and what are the dynamics I believe that we will start seeing those more and more in the market within three to five years, uh, which is quite a long time. But uh, radar is going through a revolution right now. Uh, you can see that uh, everywhere you, you go and everywhere you read, there is many startups dealing with radars. All of them have specific and new, new IP that uh, 
has never been used before. Uh, the tier ones that are making those radar modules to put in the vehicles are continuously looking for uh, new technology. Uh, and, and if you look, for instance, uh, what a radar can do versus visual, the radar creates much less data to uh, identify something with micro Doppler than, than a camera and the LiDAR creates to identify something. So it saves you the end also on CPU power and then power overall.